If you love seated forward bend, seated forward fold, then this is going to be the class for you. Full hour long class that incorporates this forward fold into the whole sequence. So if that is something you want to jive with, roll out your mat and I will roll the intro screen. Hello, magnificent human beings. My name is Landon Slaughter, and here on this channel, it is all about fixing the kinks in your practice by deepening your knowledge of yoga so that you can create a truly transformative practice for yourself. So please, finding yourself standing here at the top of your mat, roll your shoulders back, close your eyes, and let's breathe in through the nose. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And exhale out the nose. Inhale through the nose, and exhale out the nose. Simply standing here, breath is full. Allowing an intention to surface something positive, uplifting, grounding, whatever you like. And when you have that intention, sealing it with three cleansing breaths. So inhale through the nose, inhale, 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 hold, hold, hold and exhale out the mouth. <sighs> inhale through the nose, inhale, inhale, hold, 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 and exhale out the mouth. <sighs> Once more, inhale through the nose, big belly, fill your lungs, hold, 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 and exhale out the mouth. <sighs> Excellent job. Open up your eyes, go ahead, inhale, hands up, overhead, squeeze your glutes, exhale, back bend. <sighs> Inhale, hands up. Exhale, swan dive. Come all the way down, forward fold. Excellent work. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Fingertips on the mat, coming high under your toes, coming down into that ball, kind of a modified toe stand. Relax, chin to the chest, just round. Then eventually, bringing your glutes up into forward fold. Relax. Just hang, and chin is the last to rise, coming all the way up, hands up overhead, squeeze your glutes, exhale, gentle back bend. <sighs> Inhale, hands up, exhale, swan dive, come all the way down, forward fold. We inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Fingertips on the mat, coming down into your ball, chin into chest, round, hold, just breathe. Inhaling glutes up for that forward fold and exhale, relax. Forward fold. Chin last to rise, coming all the way up, hands up overhead and let it go. <sighs> Inhale, hands up. Exhale, swan dive. Come all the way down, forward fold. Very good. Inhale, half lift and exhale, fold. Fingertips on the mat. Identify lift leg, bring it back base of that lunge, and then hands up overhead, full crescent lunge, breathe, focus. Eye gaze out into infinity, you've got it. Hands come all the way down, step that back foot up in to your forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. And then chin, last our eyes coming all the way up, hands up overhead. Let it go. Ah, inhale, hands up. And exhale, swan dive. All the way down, forward fold. Fingertips on the mat. Identify right leg. Bring it back, base of your lunge. And then inhale, hands up. Full crescent lunge. Just breathe. And hands come down to the mat. Step that back foot up. 
forward fold. You inhale into half lift, exhale, fold, and chin. Last two, rise, coming all the way up. Hands up overhead, back bend. <sighs> inhale, hands up, and exhale, fold, come all the way down. Hands on the mat, eventually stepping it back into your first downward facing dog. So not a lot of those seated forward bends yet, but plenty of regular forward folds in our standing warm-up there. Anytime you're in your down dog, you can always pedal it out, walk it out, move around just a little bit. Okay. And from here, identify left leg, three-legged, bring it through base of your lunge, and then... Lower down to your back knee, untuck your toes, both hands up overhead, full crescent lunge. Just breathe. Interlace your fingers, place them on that knee, roll your shoulders back, and slowly sink into your hips. back. Ah, very good. All right. Both hands down on the mat. Tuck your back toes. Downward facing dog. You can shift forward into that plank. Lower onto your knees if you wish. Roll your shoulders back. Eye gaze forward and lowering into chaturanga. Push back up. You can lower all the way through into up dog. Downward facing dog. Ah. All right. Right foot, brief three-legged. Base of your lunge. Lower down to your back knee. Untuck your toes. Hands up overhead. Ah, that modified crescent lunge. Just hold. Just breathe. Interlace your fingers. Put them on that knee. Roll your shoulders back. And come on down, sinking into your hips. And ah, coming back to neutral, hands on the mat. Go ahead, bring it all the way back into downward facing dog. Very good. Weight shifts forward into your plank. You can lower onto your knees, roll your shoulders back, eye gaze forward. And then lower part way out, chaturanga. <laughs> Push back up, lower all the way down. You can come up through and up dog. And from here, downward facing dog. Okay. Go ahead, identify left leg, brief three-legged, bring it through, base of your lunge, leave your hands on the mat, but ground down your back heel and open it up into warrior two. Holding strong in your warrior two, breathe. Right forearm down on that leg. And, oh, sorry, left forearm down on your knee. And your right hand comes up. So feeling that length all the way through your rib cage. Breathe in your posture, hold. Coming back to neutral. Very good. And you can windmill hands. All the way down to the mat. Step that back foot up into forward fold. We inhale, half lift, and exhale back into forward fold. Relax. Chin is last to rise. Coming all the way up. Hands up overhead. Back bend, let it go. <sighs> Relax. Hands by your side. Brief tree pose. Take that left foot, kickstand it on the inside of your calf, and you can kind of bring it up farther and farther. Just make sure you don't set this heel in at your knee joint. Holding here. And as you like, growing those branches, arms up overhead. Hands 
and release. Ah, shake it out, kick it out. All right, right heel, kickstand on the inside. You can slowly bring that foot on up as you please. Hands, branches can come up as well. Sometimes wearing pants, the foot kind of slips or depending on if you're like in hot yoga and your heel slips too. So wherever you can bring that heel is fine. And setting it on down, shake it out, kick it out. Coming into a forward fold once more, bringing your hands relatively closer, your feet relatively closer together, and then hands cup the back of your heels, that forward fold from behind, and relax. So although we haven't gotten into a traditional seated forward bend yet, still kind of warming up those hamstrings and low back for when we do get there in a nice long floor series we have planned. So just breathe. Release, relax. All right, very, very good. Now, from here, inhale, half lift, exhale, fold, fingertips on the mat, gently, gently coming back into your downward facing dog. Okay, next side, right foot, bring it on through, base of your lunge, hold here. Ground down, back heel, and then coming on up into Warrior Two. Holding in your Warrior Two. Hands come on out. I gaze softly over that front hand. Breathing. Strong, powerful warrior. Right. Elbow rests on that knee. Left hand up overhead for your extended side angle. And come on back. Regular worry two. Very good. Hands, windmill, all the way down to the mat. And then step that back foot up. Forward fold. We inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Chin is the last to rise, slow and steady coming all the way up. Hands up overhead and let it go. Ah, hands by your sides. Okay, tree pose again, but we're going to start with the right foot this time. Bring it on up, just hold. And again, like calf, inner thigh, wherever is available to you, if you can really Bring that heel up nice and high and place it in between that hip crease and your pubic bone, allowing that knee to drop on out. You may, but if you feel any tension in your knee as you do this, maybe backing off. You can grow your branches if you wish. Again, placing your foot anywhere you like. And release, shake it out, kick it out. All right, getting ready for that next side. So left foot, bring it on up. So kickstand, inner thigh, inner calf, inner thigh, all the way up into that hip crease maybe, allowing that leg to fall on down, whichever you like. you like to put your foot is okay. Remember, just avoid pressing your heel in at that knee joint. We don't want to stress in our knee joints there. And 
and release. Shake it out. Okay, same thing as before, coming into forward fold, feet relatively close together, and go ahead, bend your knees quite a bit, cupping the back of those heels, and breathe. Relaxing your forward fold. And release. Excellent work. Shake it out, move around. All right. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Come on down. Hands on the mat. Step on back. Down facing dog. And from your down dog, you can lower down to your knees. Sitting back on your heels for a brief thunderbolt. Just staying right here. Kind of getting set up for our Adra Kurmasana, that half tortoise. Hands up overhead. Interlace your thumbs, palms come to meet. Slow, 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 focus coming all the way down. Knife edges of your pinkies, forehead on the mat. Just breathe. From here, engaging your core, slow, 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 come on up, and hands by your sides, awesome, shake it out, move around just a little bit, okay, now getting into that floor series, so go ahead, swing those legs on around, coming into your staff pose. And from staff pose, putting a bend in your knees. This helps to keep that nice flat back. I gaze forward, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, forward fold. Hands grab onto your feet, your shins, ankles, kind of wherever you like. create space in your low back. Exhales help you fold. And release. You can shake it out, bob it out, move around. Very good. All right. So take that left heel, bring it on up and in. The base of your seated forehead to knee, square your shoulders with the front. We're not going to spend too much time in each one of these postures, so really enjoying it for about three breaths each one. Put a little bend in your knee here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Coming on down. Three breaths. And release. Then turning your shoulders, squaring them up. So trying to bring your sternum in line with this knee as best as you can. Just keeping the shoulders nice and square. And then take this right forearm, bring it down on the inside of that calf. Left hand up overhead. And breathe. And slowly release, come on back. And then bring ah, those feet on out, brief staff pose. 
Then go ahead, same thing. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. And remember, you can always put a little bend in your knees to help get into that low back. release. You can shake it out, move around just a little bit. Okay. Identify left knee and bend it on back. Base of your half hero pose. And if you kind of have some trouble in your knee here, you can come off to the side, but just try to keep this, you know, foot relatively straight. So if that's the case, then from here, coming on down, hinging forward, you can maybe put a small bend in that knee, and then if you can bring your knees closer together, making sure this foot is straight back along the side here, coming down. So wherever it is for you, again, about three breaths. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, just by a little bit, hinge forward, inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge, inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge. and coming on back. Awesome. So from here, coming into that reclined half hero, onto those forearms, and if you can make it, coming all the way back. Again, depending on how that knee feels, then backing off, but trying to find this stretch here in this quadricep area. Excellent job. Coming back up. And from here, staff pose. You can straighten that leg out. Bend your knees. Shake back and forth. Move around just a little. Okay. Guess what? Seated forward bend. Pachimottasthasana once more. So go ahead and bend those knees. Maybe bringing your feet flat so you can grab onto them here. And inhale. Don't round. You Lengthen, exhale, hinge forward. So your journey is kind of, you know, if you're here and you're good and that back is flat, then you can inch your heels forward. You keep going, inhale, fold, inhale, fold. And then if you're good here, you can inch your heels forward. Always working with that breath. And ah, releasing. Shake it out. Move it around. Okay, next side. So right heel, bring it on in. And then feel free to put a little bend in this knee, base of your seated forehead to knee. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, come on down. and release. All right, squaring your shoulders up as best as you can. Holding here, and remember, trying to keep your shoulders square about three breaths. You can bring that arm on down, right hand on up, bring it behind your head maybe. Breathing. And go ahead, release, coming on back. You feel free to bring that foot on out. 
base of your staff pose once more. Put a bend in your knees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward bend. Just like the theme of the class. And you can release. Very good. Okay, right knee, bend it on back. Getting set up for that half hero pose. Again, if you need to be off here just a little bit, that's okay. But if you do, try to keep this foot nice and straight. So holding, keep with your focus, keep with your breath. Okay, and then just like before, three breaths. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge. Keeping with it, keep with your focus, you've got it. And come on back. All right, half hero coming back. Adra Supta Varasana, right? Half reclined hero, I believe. Sanskrit, not sure the order of those, but those are all the right words, at least. So coming on back. And from here, coming back up, you can take this foot and bring it on out. Very good. Shake it out, move around. And once more, seated forward bend. But we'll be in this one for a little bit longer, maybe about six breaths. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge. Stay with it. Okay, and release, coming on back. All right, go ahead and swing those legs on around. And getting a little back bend into our spine here since we kind of done those, you know, forward bends. So coming into cow, and we're gonna actually hold in cow just for a little bit. Inhale, roll your shoulders up, eye gaze comes up. Stay here in your cow and exhale. Stay here, inhale. Stay here, exhale. A couple more breaths exactly where you are. Neutral spine. Wag it out, move it out. Very good. All right. Go ahead and tuck your toes, walk your hands out. Down dog. I'm continuing on with the theme of this kind of more relaxing, mellow class. We're going to take that left knee, bring it all the way up inside of that left wrist, setting it down, laying it down for 
pigeon pose. Back foot, nice and straight. And we slowly, slowly, slowly come on down into your pigeon on your forearms, or you can lay all the way down, whichever one you like. If you're folded down, coming back up, and from here, simply slouch onto that left glute. Slouching over, bring this left shin so it's perfectly parallel with the top of your mat, and then right leg, bring it all the way around, stacking your ankle on top of that knee, and relaxing. Close your eyes and just breathe. Agni Stambhasana, fire log pose. Getting into those hips. leg you may swing it all the way back around and then bringing your heel in towards your groin here so that you can bring both hands on the mat setting up kind of back in the base of that pigeon pose tuck your back toes and downward facing dog <sighs> Right. Go ahead and bring your right knee forward. Place it on the inside of that wrist. Untuck your back toes. Remember, if your mind starts to wander, breath is always there. That intention is always there. Sometimes that's the more challenging side of yoga, right, is staying with your focus, staying with your breath through everything. So close your eyes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, you can sink down a little bit. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sinking down. And eventually, walking on out. On your forearms, laying all the way down, wherever it is for you. Slowly, slowly, you can push yourself on back up. And then slouching onto that right glute. And go ahead and bring your right shin so it's parallel to the top of your mat. That's step one. Then step two, swing this foot around. And sometimes we get a little bit lazy and place this heel near our shin, or we place it way up here or just maybe not on our knee exactly but just maybe at the bottom of it so really trying to place that 
kind of almost divot, if you will, of that uh, heel, that ankle, on the meaty part of your knee. Keep your feet flexed because, you know, we want to protect those knee joints, right? And then breathing, allowing things to open up. Okay, enough fire log. Bring that foot all the way back and around, uh, choking that uh, heel in so you can kind of square things up. And then tuck your toes, downward facing dog. <laughs> Pedal it up, walk it up, move around. All right. Weight shifts forward into your plank. Hold strong in your plank. You can lower down to your knees if you want. Otherwise, simply lower all the way down. <clears throat> Hands come by your sides. And just relax. Left or right ear on the mat, whichever one you wish. Slowly, slowly, rolling onto your back for our first Shavasana. Feet fall out, arms fall out. Getting set up here as you please. Moving that microphone belt around. And three breaths, really enjoying your brief Shavasana before we continue on with our floor series here. Inhale through the nose, inhale, 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 inhale. Don't let your air rush out and exhale. Slow inhale. Slow exhale. Slow inhale. Really slow exhale. with your breath in through your nose, out through your nose. You can identify your right knee. Bring it on up. And hugging on in. Brief wind removing. So just identifying that knee and squeezing it on in. Using those arms to really squeeze. Hug, hug, hug it on in. But relax everything else nice and loose. Squeeze, 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 breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> Don't release quickly, rather slowly backing off. Okay, left hand crosses over and you gently guide that knee across into your spinal twist. Holding in your twist. Breathing into that low back.
and very gently bringing that leg across, planting it down, and then allowing your knee to open on up. Kind of a modified Shavasana here. It's very similar to a tree pose. Keeping your breath steady and full. And bringing your knee back up. Okay. Bring that knee on down and now both knees. Bring them on up and hug them on in. Point of moving with both feet. So don't cross your feet here. Sometimes people do that. Just keeping them nice and straight and relax everything. I like to try to make this as passive of a posture as possible. Naturally, we need that arm strength. So strong hands, arms, biceps, triceps, but try to relax everything else. So bring those knees on in. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Gently, gently, releasing, relaxing. You can tick tock your legs back and forth. Very good. Place both feet down on the mat. And then finding your hands flat on the mat as well. Getting ready for bridge pose. Waddle your shoulder blades in just a little bit. And take a really big breath. Stay here, exhale. And now as you please, inhale, hips up. Bridge pose. Breathe steady. on out. And from here, propping yourself up onto your forearms, then eventually coming all the way up. Brief staff pose so that we can counteract a little bit of that back bend with our forward bend for our Pachimodastasana. Inhale, exhale, fold. Shake it out, move around. And laying on back. Ah, your Shavasana. All right, identify left knee this time. Bring it on up. Interlace your fingers, top of that knee, and guide it on in. But remember, relaxing everything else, trying to make this relatively as passive as you can and bringing that knee on in, relaxing your ankles, relaxing everything, press is full. slowly release 
right hand crosses over and bringing it on down. Gentle twist. Breathing. Now we don't have any lungs in our low back, but envisioning that breath all the way down into your low back. Gently, gently bring everything on back, planting that heel down next to your glute, and allow that knee to drop on open. Just breathe. From here, you can bring your knee on up. Wobble it out, shake it out. Okay, only three more postures to go. All right, so first is happy baby. Bringing those feet on up. Hands grab outside edges of your feet, elbows inside of your knees. And just breathe. Maybe if you want to get fancy, you can extend one leg out, then the other. Whatever you like. And set those feet flat on the mat. Okay. Two more postures to go. Fingertips pointed down. Okay. Holding in the base of your wheel pose. So fingertips pointed down towards your shoulders. Now if you don't want to do wheel, that's fine. You can place your hands down and you can substitute for doing bridge pose by lifting those hips. But if you would like Fingertips pointed down next to your shoulders, eye gaze up, and first simply take an inhale, then exhale. Now inhale, coming up into your wheel. Breathe. setting it on down. And because that was a little bit of a back bend, why not do one more forward bend, forward fold. Coming on up, brief staff pose. Put a bend in your knees. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Excellent work. From here, you can relax into your final Shavasana. Feet fall out, arms fall out. Just relax. Just breathe. Final Shavasana. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to be. Just relax.
remembering your breath, remembering your intention. Just a few more breaths here in your Shavasana, releasing, relaxing. Okay, go ahead and shake things out, move things around. Uh, you can bring some awareness back into that body, staying in your Shavasana if you'd like, or gently pushing yourself up. into a seated position so we can bow together. Ah. Thanking you so much for joining me on this amazing journey. I really do appreciate it. So, from my heart, to all of yours, Thank you guys, have a beautiful, amazing day, truly, and namaste. Mm -hmm.